So more success for the uh, New South Wales athletes being split there by the Victorian. Now while we're on now, high jump here. We might go into some more Finnish fun facts. Oh, I love the Finnish uh, fun facts. As we see Stephen Karga just clipping it with his heels on his attempt at two meters. Uh, in Finland, your speeding fines are calculated on a percentage of your income. Yes, yeah, I did hear this one. So some Finnish millionaires can face fines for over $100,000, which, yes. you know what, don't speed. Yeah, exactly. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I think it's a smart way to... Because if your fine is 200 bucks, and you're a millionaire, and the fine's 200 bucks, what is that to oh, you? Just speed. Just speed everywhere. There's no, there's no real consequence to it. So your full official results there. Riley Hemsworth, 13.05. Taylor Willis, 13.27. And Mitch Lightfoot, 13.42 with a plus 2.2. In the men's under 16, 100 metre hurdle final. Now, uh, they're into some crazy sports in Finland. Are they? Yes. One of the crazy ones, they have the World Wife Carrying Competition. The World Wife Carrying Championships. It's an actual event. It's a World Championship event for carrying your wife. And I believe that you win your wife's weight in beer in the end as a prize. Well, that's... that's That's fair, that's fair. Because the heavier the wife is to carry, the more beer you get, but sometimes the less likely you are to win. Now, for all those athletes and team management going over to Finland, there are about two million saunas in Finland. So enough for the entire Finnish population to take a sauna at the same time, which oh, if they have international, or not in, national sauna day, there is an opportunity. I wonder if there's a point where everyone is having a sauna at the same time. Oh, jeez. Well, on that, they are the, the land of lakes. One would say they have a lot of lakes. Well, they do. They do. They have a whopping 187,888 lakes. That's a lot so of lakes. So is there a point where everyone is looking at a lake at the one time? Well, speaking of lakes, they have National Sleepyhead Day, where the last person in the family to wake up is thrown into a lake or the, or the closest sea by the rest of the family. <laughs> so obviously, they might have two, they might walk outside with the one to wake up and go, I don't even know which lake to throw him in. There's too many options. Too many lakes. Don't think that's been a fact for that. It's never been a situation for too many people, but you know, obviously the finish. You never got know. A lot of lakes. You never know. The South Australian athlete there, pretty pumped to get over two metres. Jaden Ellsworthy, clear over that two metre bar. Still waiting for it to get to the upper echelons. But with Cargo coming in, and again, just taking it off with his heels unfortunately now this is actually a fun finish fact Finland is only one of two countries in the world that have earned a medal at every single Olympic Games Although they do say since 1908, there's been there was a couple before that. Yeah, there was a couple. Obviously, yeah. if we go back further, maybe they. Well, let's just pretend like there wasn't one yeah, before. Yeah, they didn't then. exist. Okay, Finland. No, that doesn't work like that. 
but I think started in 1896. Australia's been, and then wasn't there a sneaky one in like 1906? St. Louis had one in America, and then they decided to just keep rolling them every four years. Oh, I couldn't uh, validate that comment whatsoever. I have no idea. No idea. But they have invented some pretty cool things to finish. Have they? They have. Obviously relevant to athletes, the heart rate monitor. Ooh, okay. How many athletes out here rely on their heart rate monitor for training and all that sort of stuff? You can thank the finish. So if you make the team, get on the plane, fly to Finland, thank them for the heart rate monitor. There's Chebe, just misses there. Grazes it with his back and unfortunately gets the red flag. 